Rocco, let's talk a bit about your family growing mm-hmm. up. You've been around music all your life, and your yeah. father is was involved with Bo Diddley's band. Yeah, he he was a touring guitar player for a few different artists um, when I was a kid, and uh, it's all kind of a haze now. Um, but I just remember being dragged around quite a bit um, in a lot of different uh, social scenes um, with a lot of interesting characters and uh, trying to deal with understanding what was going on around me. I think just now I'm starting to to get it, what was happening uh, back then. Uh, that was part of your life. Yeah, it was you just really kind of part of uh, normal my everyday normalcy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, late nights and uh, lots of music and you know falling asleep to it and um, playing you know learning how to play at a young age just just by watching and absorbing and watching different people come in and out of my life uh, I guess I I guess I learned more than I had than I had bargained for yeah do you talk about any of those experiences and on the new CD any of your songs? Uh, you know I do um, in my own way I'm a little less obvious than maybe a narrative um, storyteller. Um, I like taking just bits and pieces of things and throwing them all in the same soup and seeing how uh, what what I can make. Um, but yeah, there's bits and pieces of all that stuff. Like Swing Low, a great mm-hmm. track, very bluesy vibe mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. That was initially inspired by, as a kid, uh, there was always um, the staple singers were always being played. Uh, which is, you know, folk gospel, really. And, um, uh, you know, I they did a version of, of, of the song Swing Low, the traditional. And uh, I wanted to do my own kind of virgin, version. And um, I did. But, but it's inspired by, by that, by, you know, just kind of re- surrendering to something, surrendering and, uh, you know, um, just basically... Uh, Trying to trying to figure out a way to properly uh, expose yourself and expose your heart, and um, I thought that song carried a lot of weight with me growing up, and I I wanted to kind of do my own version.